everyone welcome back to the girl next to the channel and i am wiju monguma so it's been a minute i hope you guys have been amazing so a lot a lot has been happening let me start on with the obvious i don't know if you can tell whether i'm speaking a little bit different but that's because i have a molar which is growing and it is painful af like truly really painful and uh, it's even hard to swallow saliva but mm, we are good so for the past few weeks i've been battling with a lot i've been feeling a lot of pressure to deliver i've been burnt out just fighting my comfort zones and working on the tenacity to just come back bounce back and produce more content for you guys but i want to thank each and everyone who supported me throughout the few weeks um everyone who just watched and rewatched my videos i'm hoping you use different google accounts though and um just everyone who just checked up on me asked me what is going on why did i tell you that i had to take a break and what not so yeah this is just me apologizing for all that and i'm glad to say that i am back on track with it so moving on swiftly today's project was inspired by my love for sitting on the floor whether i'm just chatting or i'm just watching tv or doing my assignments i just love 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 sitting on the floor and the floor can be a really hard place to sit on i mean it's on the carpet but it's still on the floor it can be a really really hard place to sit on so today we are going to diy a floor pillow and this is it this is it so it is actually halfway done but i've been having this for a week now and it is so comfy oh my god like it's really really comfy when you're sitting on it you can just do like this it's really comfy it's really wobbly and uh, it's just really amazing for your bum <laughs> filtering my words for youtube but it's really amazing for your makalio <laughs> So in case you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY videos on this channel. And let's get into the video. Start by folding the fabric into two, then fold it into a triangle and then cut it. This results to a fabric that is square in shape, meaning all sides will be equal. In the darkest hour for this next step i made a small mistake while folding the fabric as you will see later on in the video but pretty much the idea of marking the fabric and cutting it is the same oh, where do we go? the mistake was that i continued to cut the fabric while it was folded into two instead of unfolding it then fold it into four times which is to make it a quarter so that when i cut i have a full circle so it can't really be seen here in the video you'll get the full picture when you're making the pillow yourself so this is just a heads up for you when you're making the pillow make sure in the second step you fold the fabric into four the next piece of fabric you're cutting will be rectangular in shape so the width will be seven and a half inches and the length will be the circumference of the circle no. oh, no. cutting the second circle and if you didn't understand what i was talking about earlier don't worry here we're starting afresh so the fabric you're currently seeing is folded into two that's why i am marking a semicircle using a piece of chalk but if i was to fold it into four then i would only mark a quarter of the circle get it Find yourself measuring the circumference of the circle so as to know how long the rectangular piece should be if 
you find that the rectangular piece is shorter than 98 inches, just cut another 7.5 inch by the length that is short off. Then add an extra 5 inches to be safe. And you've done your walking. Probably enough for. And we're done with all the cutting, so I'm taking this to the tailor. Oh. Here the semicircles are being sewed together so as to form a circle. The two rectangular pieces are being sewed together. And we both know. Every time you come around, every time you return. Remember, we cut out two circles, and now the first circle is uh, this part, the front part. And as you can see, that's the front part, and then there's the back part, and then there's also um, other pieces we cut out, which was um, seven and a half inches, which joins the front circle and the, the back circle. So, all around, um, I can't remember the measurements, but I'll indicate them here on the screen. And then um, we also did a little blunder somewhere. So here we cut it into semicircles in, instead of circles, as you had seen earlier. The tailor also sewn the two semicircles into one part so that it becomes a full circle. And uh, she also left out a small tool over here. So this is where we'll be putting our pillow insert through. We're going to fill this whole fabric this hole over here so let's get to it so i am mostly asked where i get my microfiber um, i get it from gikomba there is some shop near equity like see you kundani kwenye kunozo ngu zamtush no just like um near equity there is like a shop that sells 300 bob package i'll take a vlog for that one of these fine days but so far yeah that's it also let me start on by saying like it's a coincidence like all the pillows that i've created they're all in blue in color like it's just a coincidence blue is not my favorite color plus they're for different rooms so it's allowed See it, in your time. it looks like a bean bug oh my god this is so pretty for my pillows so you know <laughs> I know when mom sees this, she'll be like, Live in a needle rather than a But I know, like, for my place, it will be like really, really pretty. So, <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm a Malisa. In the darkest hour, I wanna come for you. I know you've been. Oh, where do I think we'll have to put like all of the. It's big, it's very. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I know how you hate the cold. Don't your life's a chain for more. Afraid to leave, afraid to show. After stuffing the pillow, we are going to stitch the hole and we are using a type of stitch called slip stitch or sometimes called a ladder stitch. So this is the perfect stitch to close up seams that cannot be sewn with a sewing machine. The whole point of this stitch is to close up the hole without seeing visible stitches. I feel like I've used the word stitch 3000 times. Take a small needle with thread and insert it inside the seam allowance along where the seam should continue. The whole idea is pushing the needle through the fabric then re-emerge it. So insert the needle directly across into the other seam allowance then re-emerge it again. Once the seam is joined, pull the thread so that the fabrics are firmly together. It's actually easier to watch while I'm doing it than being explained to, so repeat that whole stitch until the hole is fully closed up. Find yourself no no. Lost in looking for a soul. When you're 
done stitching remember to close off the stitch with a knot There's nowhere to go now we are almost done but this is option one in case you would love your pillow to be comfy and wobbly this is the best option now on to option two which is a little more aesthetically appealing it's stiff but it's still soft for your behind using a piece of chalk mark nine places starting from the center the side with the semicircles is actually coming handy right now since it's easier to tell the center line so mark on both sides of the pillow making sure the nine marked points are directly above the other nine marked points on the other side i am using yarn thread since it's thick and stronger than the normal sewing thread also use a long needle for this and tie a knot thrice here i'm just tying a knot so as to secure it so tie as many times as possible approximately i tied four times in each place wondering what filter this is i'm using um instagram status filters these are fresh kiwi wine i don't know by who but i oh my god it's pretty <laughs> and i need to work on my outro like it's wanting but in the meantime i'm hoping you enjoyed today's content don't forget to like subscribe and share widely share widely and comment down below and that's it for today guys i'll get to you rush back here next week Bye.